Hi everybody. Well, there's been a lot of discussion recently about how AI is going to be altering content creation on YouTube, Twitch, and lots of different places. And I think we've already seen a lot of um, chatter about uh, creating thumbnails, haven't we? The fact that AI art is, has reached a certain level. So what I want to talk about in this video is how you can use AI to help you with your um, video titles, uh, your descriptions, and uh, your tags and your hashtags as well. And what I've created, and you'll see these in the description below this video, is a um, selection of prompts that you can put into the AI in order to ask it a question. Um, and we're gonna be looking at a couple of AI here. We're gonna be looking at ChatGPT. Now, I'm, I've currently got access to GPT-4, um, which is, I think that's the paid model, I think, for ChatGPT, but you chat gpt 3.5 will be there and it's basically it's basically it's just as good and we're also going to be putting our prompts into bard which is the google version of it and i highly recommend you go over to bard and sign up for it and you'll probably get put on a waiting list and then you'll have access to it because it's google it's free it's not as good as chat gpt at the moment but it's definitely worth checking out um so anyway so the prompts are are really important because the thing about AI uh, is it's a bit like having a really clever assistant sitting next to you um, but you need to know to what questions you should ask this assistant and that that can be the, the really hard bit so these prompts for example if we go and look at these prompts so the first prompt is please provide 10 alternative YouTube videos for your and then you put your title here that you've come up with for your video that are optimized to maximize views and performance within Google and YouTube search and discovery algorithm. Make use of the 100 character limit set by YouTube for each title variation. Now, before we go and do this, what I have done is I have asked ChatGPT if these prompts are good <coughs> and I've asked them to optimize the prompts as well. So let's see what happens. So let's copy that out. Let's go over to ChatGPT and let's paste it in. And then let's put in my video title. So my video title at the moment is it's about putting uh, Daisy into Fortnite. So what we can do is we can now paste that into there. And then what we'll do is at the same time we'll copy that out and we'll copy that into Bard. So we'll get Bard working and then we'll get ChatGPT working. And there we go. And if anything, the, the really cool thing about doing this is that it just gives you different ideas about things you wouldn't have thought about. Um, so as they're clunking along nicely, there we go. So Bard's done them already. So we could, so the, the the subject of the video is uh, Fortnite. Uh, well, Epic have created the uh, Unreal Engine Fortnite editor, Unreal editor for Fortnite, where you can create game modes and games within Fortnite. Um, it's really powerful because it's you know parts of the Unreal editor. Um, um, and uh, you will be able to create Daisy or a cartoony version of Daisy within Fortnite. Um, so my original title was "Who'll be the first to make Daisy in the new real Unreal en editor for Fortnite?" Great news for game modders. And so what um, Bard has come up with is Unreal Editor Fortnite. Daisy mod is possible? Question mark. Daisy in Fortnite. New Unreal editor could make it happen. Uh, let's go over to and a few more. Let's go over to. Chat GPT, new Unreal editor, Daisy meets Fortnite, exciting modding news. Fortnite cross Daisy, epic modding with the Unreal editor. Create Daisy in Fortnite's Unreal editor, ultimate modding guide. That's not really true, but Fortnite's Unreal editor, Daisy modding revolution begins now. Um, hey, you know, I like the way it's added these little things at the end as well. Not quite sure where it's done that. Um, but you see how powerful that is. Now, the other thing that's interesting about this in terms of titles is it's using short, snappy titles, um, which kind of is it's kind of it's really good for in terms of uh, click through rate when people see the titles. I don't always think they're great for search because they don't include all the words. But again, you can look through this and you could think, hmm, is that better than what I've done? Um, and or does that give me an idea for some extra things that I could add to my title as well? So hopefully already you've seen how powerful this is. Now another way, another prompt that's related to um, these is please generate 10 distinct YouTube video titles based on the description. Now the idea of this prompt is 
if you've got an eye if if you know what your video is about but you're struggling to make a, a title about it but you can write a description about it so you might be able to say well this video is all about how you make daisy within Fortnite. you could put that into this prompt and then um the ai will come up with a, a suitable title so let's have a go with that so let's copy that let's put it into there so i've already got a description so we can go back to video details and we can put the description oh, we don't want the https just want the description because my descriptions are often way too short you see so if we paste that into there and then if we copy that, uh, we'll get Bard working first again. So let's get Bard working. Let's get ChatGPT working. So the, the AI is looking at the description and then coming up with a title. Because sometimes when you do write videos, do make videos, you're like, oh, God, the, the, the subject matter of the video is so, can seem to be too complicated to fit into the 100 character limit for the title so you know th this is another great way of doing it so bard's probably finished <laughs> see but bard's fast but it's not as it doesn't go as in depth as um chat gpt unreal editor fortnite the future of modding unreal editor fortnite the ultimate guide unreal editor fortnite how to create your first game now see they're a little bit weaker because they don't mention daisy in it Let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. Unreal Edge Fortnite Beta. Game modding revolution begins. Epic's UEFT, which is the short name for uh, Unreal Edge Fortnite. Create and import games of Fortnite. The DayZ Mod Challenge. Fortnite's Unreal Editor. Modding power unleashed. Who's making DayZ first? UFT Beta. Forge your game and reach millions in Fortnite. The DayZ Mod Race. That sounds good, doesn't it? That is that's, That sounds really good. I like that. Um, experience Unreal Engine's power, Fortnite's edi editor, and Daisy mod potential. See, they're all they're, they're all more viral than my my title because my title's a bit. Who'll be the first to make Daisy in the new Unreal Editor for Fortnite? Great news for game models. Actually, I think mine's all right. If we had a exclamation mark at the end, like that. But again, if you were struggling for a title, you can see how the AI has created it for us. So let's go down a bit. Now descriptions. Now one of the problems I have with descriptions is after I've made the video and I've made the title and I've made the thumbnail, you're a bit like burnt out. And, you're like, Ugh. and most descriptions are often far too short. So this description prompt is, please compose a YouTube video description with, and you put your title in, focusing on maximizing views and optimizing its performance within Google and YouTube search algorithms. Incorporate relevant keywords and key phrases related to your video subject to enhance searchability and discoverability. The description should be at least 2,000 characters in length. So that's the first prompt. Now, the second prompt um, is uh, please evaluate and revise the provided YouTube video description. So the first one is saying, look, come up with your own description. And the, the next one is come up, uh, please look at my description and improve it. They both rely on you already have do done the title. And remember, you could just put in any old title that's kind of related to video that is the best that you can do. And once you've got that title, you can then ask for variations on that title. Or once you've got the description, you can then use that description to ask for variations on the title. So let's ask it to um, optimize my description, shall we? Uh, so let's copy that. Let's go over to ChatGPT. Let's paste it in. So it wants to know the title first. So let's copy that. So we've pasted that in, control V. So my current description is this one. Let's copy that. Let's just paste that in there. And then let's copy the whole thing. We go over to Bard. So let's get Bard working first. And then let's get ChatGPT working. Bard's probably finished. <laughs> oh, no, it's still thinking. Here is a revised description of your video. So you can see already that it's much longer, and it's got some nice bullet points at the end. Epic has just released the Unreal Editor Fortnite into beta, and it's exciting news for anyone who's interested in modding or creating games for any platform. The Unreal Editor is a powerful tool that can be used to create games of all genres, and it's now available for free for anyone to use it. Blah, 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 blah. 
Uh, now, ChatGPT, this is ChatGPT4, and it's quite slow when it's doing it. In this video, we dive into the exciting world of game modding and creation with the re recently released Unreal Edited Fortnite beta. Epic Games has gifted the game, that's a good word, isn't it? Gifted with this free, powerful tool that enables enthusiasts and inspiring game developers alike to create their dream games and mods for multiple platforms, including the ever popular form Fortnite. <laughs> see, see how good it is. Now, think the thing to remember as well is that you can add personality to these as well you could say you know do it in the style of so if you're finding that your descriptions all tend to be you know nice and positive and bouncy but you really want to do it in a slightly different way you could put you could you could add that to it and get different variations but already you should see i mean this is way better than my existing um description that i put in and it's longer as well um, let's go down uh, and then the the other description prompt is create your own description from just the title now tags now tags are interesting um, because they don't really um, they don't really have a place in YouTube videos anymore and in fact that YouTube kind of ignores them in terms of search however what they are useful for and it's kind of widely accepted that they can be useful in terms for for misspelling of things Okay, so again, if people, what are, what are the common misspellings? So what we're using this tag for is to say, look, please generate a list of YouTube tags for my video with the title and with the description, so you copy and paste those, that include common misspellings and variations of words and phrases from the title and description, as well as misspellings of related terms. Provide the tags in a common separated form so before copy and paste directly into the YouTube video page. So what we do is we copy that, go to here, Oh, <laughs> I love this. See, see what ChatGPT has done. It's also added hashtags at the end, which is what you you know one of the things you should do. So let's copy that, and then let's copy our title into there, and let's get our description. We can copy there. Like so. And then we copy it all. And then just put it into Bard as well. There we go. So let's get Bard working. And let's get ChatGPT working. Bard's still thinking about it. Now, what's, inter see, what's interesting with Bard is it's separated them with bullet points, which obviously is wrong. We don't want that. I mean, I mean it's not terrible. It's given some ideas. Let's see how many. Now, ChatGPT is coming up with lots more because I didn't give it a word limit for this because I, I was kind of thinking whether... YouTube, because I don't use tags that often, because I know they've kind of disappeared. So, but that's really good, that is it. So, look, I'm real editor for Fortnite, UFT, Fortnite, Daisy Mod, Game Development. Now, let's look for spelling variations. Fortnite, Daisy, Fortnite, Daisy, Day, Unreal Editor, Fortnite, Daisy, Fortnite. I'm surprised it hasn't spelt Fortnite, N I G H T as well. Obviously, very America based. So, what I'm going to do straight away, I'm just going to copy and paste that in. There we go. Um, oh, we've got too many. Oh. Okay, so let's get rid of those. So that's good. Um, and then the kind of the final thing is hashtags. Now, hashtags in YouTube, you could at the moment you can only really have three of them. Um, but I've said, please, please provide the top ten hashtags. And what was interesting, ChatGPT already did that, didn't it? When it did it before, so let's go into here. Um, let's go into here. So hashtags, you can have them in the title, or you can have them at the bottom of your video, and then at the top of a video, in a, uh, when it's on the on the, the screen when people are watching, they can see the hashtag. So if it was a Daisy video, you would have hashtag Daisy something like that. So let's go in. Let's add my title. Now, obviously, if, if you were doing this, you'd be putting in the title of the video that um, had been optimised. 
So let's paste that in there and then let's grab the description. Let's copy that. Let's put your description here. Let's copy that and let's put it into Bard as well. Let's get Bard working. And then let's get ChatGPT working as well. Let's see how Bard's getting on. Unreal Engine, Fortnite, Game Modders, DayZ. Yeah. So I think you're probably going to have to decide what's best here. Um, for me, it really would have the top ones would have be Daisy, Fortnite, and uh, probably U E F T would be the one. Um, also remember that. Oh, see, see what Chat GPT's come up with. U F T, Fortnite. Yeah, I would have just had Daisy as, as probably one of them as well. Um, remember that these these AIs, the data that they have is limited up to a certain time. So, for example, uh, what is don't actually shout to them. What is the latest version of DayZ, the video game that you know about? As a knowledge code, it's September 20. See, the, the knowledge for ChatGPT4 cuts off in September 2021. 20, so if you're asking um, him or her about DayZ, or it um, that it only is up to 1.13 when we're actually up to 1.20. So there we go. So what you'll find is in the description below this video, you'll find all these prompts that you can use with ChatGPT or Google's Bard or whichever AI you want, and obviously change them to optimize uh, with with whatever you need. But hopefully, I've shown you how easy it is to use um, uh, ChatGPT and and AI. Not not to we're not creating artificial content here. You know, we're just using the AI as a really clever um, assistant and saying, "Look, I've got, I've done this video. I need some ideas for titles. This is, this is my first idea. What do you think?" Or, "I really need a description of this title. Can you come up with something?" And it comes back, back to you that way. Um, and it also helps, I think, in situations like I say, where you know you've done all the hard work. Maybe you've spent. I mean, this isn't me, but maybe you've spent hundreds of hours or, or tens of hours editing a video creating content capturing content and you're, you're knackered when it comes to doing the title and doing the description and maybe you don't do the video justice as you should do with the title and description that you use and this is where the ai comes in handy because it doesn't get tired you can just tell it and it'll come up with ideas that will probably reinvigorate you and inspire you to uh, to make what you've done a little bit better so there we go I'll put links in the description below the video to ChatGPT and Bard as well. And hopefully you found this useful. And if you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.